All right, so here we are. This is Steve's Retro Bat build. If you look at the top center of your screen here as we go through the consoles, you'll see that there's not that many games. It's about 20 games per system, um, and it's primarily consoles. There's actually only one arcade set here with 20 games in it, you know, rocking these games here, some primarily CPS games, a little mix, a little small little, you know, a little sprinkle, if you will. And everything's from Atari all the way up to GameCube. And so let's go ahead and, and jump into this one. But for a PC build that's going to give you a little bit of everything, and it's not a big file size, this one's definitely worthy of checking out. Now, make sure you stay tuned in this video because it does come pre-installed in French. Now, the ROMs themselves are not French, but the operating system is, and it's quite easy to change all that. So you might just want to go ahead and get to that part of the video if you do download this build. So let's go ahead and check out the games. We'll check out the fixes and then my final thoughts. All right, so here we are. Let's start with uh, A for arcade. We got 20 arcade games here. And something just right off the bat that I love about this is, you know, it's got an image and then the video snap here. You know, it's got really high resolution logos on the left. Um, it tells you what system you're in in the upper right corner. Um, there's a battery indicator because RetroBat, I guess, you know, you can use it for portable systems if you want. Um, something I like about RetroBat is if you hold down A here, you can go into advanced game options and you can change like the emulator really easily or the uh, the ratio of the screen if you want like 4.3 versus widescreen. Um, even the video driver, you can change it here, Vulkan, DirectX. So really cool to just do all that uh, within the operating system here, within the front end. Now, um, so here's all the games here. I was going this way just to show you Metal Slugs in here, although I think it's also in the Neo Geo uh, collection as well. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So I, what I got to say is these are kind of the best of the best games. These are highly rated games, very, very popular in my opinion. So um, if you never play those systems, it might be a good image to play with as is kind of... Uh, you know, sharing you now. Et, I don't. I think this is a troll thing. I don't understand why everyone puts Et on there. I think it's to maybe you know humble everybody. But uh, other than that, a lot of these other games are a lot of fun. Now, PC Engine, we got. I think it's a twenty again. And here you go. I mean, it just loads up really quick. You got the video snaps. It's looking really good, really clean. Um, I haven't messed with any of the other um, themes on here. Let's see. Actually, I didn't really play with this at all since I started this up. So it's on. Okay, it just comes with this one theme here. And then you can change certain things like, for example, right now, the buttons at the bottom are D pad, you can like change what the controls look like and things like that. Um, sound settings, you can best system sound music sound, you know, all that stuff's pretty standard in emulation station. Now PC engine CD, there's probably a lot less, right? There's only 11. Yeah. And so you got the video snap. Now, something I love, you know, about RetroBat, it's, it's very similar to, uh, you know, uh, RetroPie for the Raspberry Pi or even uh, Recall Box. It's a very similar front end. Um, you know, it's my understanding that developers for RetroBat are in France, so it makes sense that, you know, this image comes stock in French. And, uh, you know, they are, they're running RetroArch for most of the games. You'll see in a second, though, that uh, Nintendo GameCube obviously doesn't run on RetroArch, or maybe it does, but uh, I know most people prefer Dolphin. Um, and then when it comes to Dreamcast, you can actually choose here, but as you hold A here, you'll see you have, um, you have uh, Flycast, Redream, or Demo on here. So that's kind of cool that, you, you know, when it comes to Dreamcast, you got quite a few emulators. Everything else is running on RetroArch. Okay, so where were we in the in the in the order there? We did PC Engine, CD-ROM. Now we're on NES, and again, kind of the best twenty Nintendo games. I'm sure there's you're gonna be like, what happened to this game? You know, when you're picking twenty games out of you know seven hundred, you're gonna miss some uh, you know important ones. So keep that in mind that if you want you know specific games, you know, maybe this isn't the right image for you. Whoops, I accidentally placed myself left. Uh oh, I'm going way too far. Game Bo Game Boy. Here we go. Just, okay, yeah, I am in Game Boy. I thought it was in Game Boy Advance for a second. I was like, what the heck? You know, I don't think I've ever played the Game Boy version of Blades of Steel. I always played the Nintendo one. Um, so a lot of, you know, so you're going to have your Zeldas. You're going to have your Marios. You're going to have your Donkey Kongs as far as Nintendo, right? Secret of Mana, good to see. But, like, no Mario RPG. Like, come on, man. If you're going to put, street, you know, the mana in there, you got to put the, you know? Um, Earthbound is in there. That's nice too. 
So some good RPGs, but some missing as well, right? Um, it does come with bezels. They're pretty standard. You'll see them in a little bit. Uh, Nintendo 64 runs awesome on... Like, Nintendo 64, let's look at this. There should be a few emulators here, too. Exactly. You can run the MuPin 64 or the Parallels or even Project 64. So that's really cool. You know, those all three of those have solid emulators, and certain games run better on certain emulators. So keep that in mind that it's cool to have that option available to you, and it's so easy to change. Even a newbie can do it. You know, there's no config files to mess around with as well. So very colorful. I like the kind of floating bezel here. Now, Nintendo GameCube, I will play it later. It did work off the bat for me. I didn't really have to change anything at all. Did I go through all those? I feel like I skipped some. Zelda's Time Splitter 2, Luigi's Mansion. Game Boy Advance 20 as well. So a lot of Metroid, a lot of Pokemon. All right, Sega Mega Drive, also known as Genesis. So again, you know it's European because they went with Mega Drive, not with Genesis. Uh, Dreamcast, so this had a bunch of games on it. This is where a lot of your data is. Now there's House of the Dead 2, this one's kind of weird to me to include because most of this image has no light gun games on it. And then all of a sudden you're gonna put a light gun game on it, kind of weird in my opinion. But uh, you can absolutely, it is one of those games you could play with your analog sticks. But like, come on. Light gun's so much better. Um, you got your Neo Geo. Again, you know, a system with over 150 games, and now you got to get down to 20. But there's your 20. Neo Geo, or that was Neo Geo CD, was it? No, the Neo Geo. And then this is Neo Geo CD. Okay. You got a couple more metal slugs. So I think it would have been cool to have like Metal Slug 1 and 2, because I think he puts them here too. Or does he? Okay, 3 and X. Okay, cool. So there's no dub doubles there. PlayStation, you got 20 games. Um, I didn't play any PlayStation games yet. Um, you know, I tested some other system. It should work fine. The soundtrack should be on here with only 20 games. They're not going to strip out the music. Uh, and then back to arcade, those 20 games we started out with. So... There you go. I mean, if you do uh, the amount of systems, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like 17 systems, I think I counted, times 20 games on average, 19 games on average. So what is that, like 340, like 330 games on here total? So it's a 330 game build across lots of, uh, you know, consoles and then Neo Geo and Arcade. So let's go ahead and share with you the fixes and then we'll play some games. So on first boot, it will be in French. So go ahead and press start on your controller. Go down <clears throat> to the parameters of the system, second to last one here. Then go down to language and just hit over on your D-pad to get to English. And then press B to go back, B to go back. And uh, you don't even have to restart. You'll notice I'm already in English now. Now, there was one other software, the RetroArch, that you need to change the language as well. But super easy as well within a game. And I'll show you how to do that. And then graphics issues if you have any loading games. So here's the part about changing the language within RetroArch. When you're in a RetroArch game, any Nintendo game, arcade game, press select, press A and A or select and B. It'll take you to the RetroArch menu. Go ahead and press back. Then go ahead and go down to Reglages. And then uh, there's one called right here, uh, Utila Satir, which is like a utility or, or user. And then Lang, which is language. And then change it to English. Go back and then you're done. So it's about 68.5 gigabytes when it's all extracted. <clears throat> I did want to show you here that this is where I change it to either GL or DirectX, but typically it says Vulkan here. A lot of you, it'll work out of the box with Vulkan, but for me, with the graphics card I have in this particular computer, as you see, I'm running the RTX 3060 laptop GPU. Maximum power, 100 watts. So it's a really powerful GPU. I'm really surprised it's not supported by Vulkan. I don't know. Let me know if somebody knows how to get it to, to, to force Vulkan.
All right. So final thoughts. I know a lot of you get upset when things are not in the uh, English language, but um, really, you know, if you just follow these steps, you're up and running in a couple minutes. Um, you know, this is just kind of a, you know, all in one, you know, 20 games per system, um, you know, small arcade set. So it definitely has its limitations, I think, for what pe certain people are looking for. But because it's so small, you know, for those of you that have small, you know, bandwidth, things like that, uh, it's kind of cool. Now, the um, what's kind of interesting to me is the um, the systems being chosen. You know, if you're going to go ahead and have Dolphin, you know, what about PSP? What about there's just so many other systems you might want to still consider. So that to me is kind of weird. Like what, you know, there's some systems missing, some that are not, you know. Especially in between Atari and um, and uh, GameCube. Did I say GameCube? I meant to say GameCube. Like, it's not weird that Dreamcast is on there. It's weird that GameCube is on there with Dolphin. Uh, because A, the games are so big, and then two, they, they tend to require a significant amount of, uh, you know, performance. So, um, I do have that weird thing going on with my graphics card. It has nothing to do with this particular build itself. Uh, loving Retro Bat. You know, Virtual Man's got a good one. It's been way more thorough, way more stuff going on. Um, oh, wow. It crushed me. Um, but, like I said, for something a little small, you know, it's, uh, it's got some stuff going on. It's definitely... I'm glad I downloaded it. And, uh, you know, there's some killer games on here, right? Like... For those people who say, oh, why do you need all those games? You're never going to get to all those games. I think this is a good uh, alternative. Can't get me, huh? Oh, but now I, now you can. Got him. Anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.